today I will present about horizontal fragmentation and I will go to the slide you will have some concept in application information I will present simple predicate and mean term predicate Simple predicate mean given a relation R with n attributes. A simple predicate PJ is PRA equal AI, eta, and value. Where AI attribute, eta is operator, may be equal, less than, less than or equal, and so on. And value is a value in the domain DI of the attribute AI and you also have a certain example like this for relation R we define a PR here set of M predicate like this one in the project relation you have a two simple predicates so that project name equal maintenance and project name less than, less than or equal to hundred thousands then I go to mean term predicate. A mean term predicate of relation R is a set and a set of simple predicate PR. We define a set of mean term predicate M1, M2, and MR. And a mean term predicate is a conjunction of simple predicate where PJ star maybe pj i mean simple predicate or not pj and now i give you some example in the project relation you have project name equal maintenance your symbol predicate you have purchase less than or equal two hundred thousand is another symbol predicate then you connect two symbol predicate together by using conjunctive operator or maybe you have mean term predicate M2 mean term predicate M3 or mean term predicate M4 now in application information I define two another main concept I mean mean term selectivities abbreviation SAN MI or asset frequency revealed ACCQI. Let me go to the mean term selectivity first. The mean term selectivity is the number of tuples of relation that will be a set by a user would be specified according like to a given mean term predicate MI. So mean term predicate MI here may be considered as a condition for selection. And asset frequency, I mean QI here, a little bit look like query. And the frequency would a user application query QI, asset data in the duration of time. And asset frequency for a mean term predicate can also be defined. Now I go to definition of primary horizontal fragmentation. You see here, here are chase is a PHF primary horizontal fragmentation and this is the result of a selection with a selection formula or maybe condition or criteria FJ uh, on relation R and horizontal fragmentation RI of relation R consists of all the taboos that define the mean term predicate MI this is a condition for selection and being given a set of mean term predicate M, there are as many horizontal fragmentation of relation R based on the mean term set of mean term predicate. So we can use two things uh, it change it change it change both I mean mean term fragments and mean term predicate. The mean term predicate uh, as I uh, told you before, mean term predicate you can think at a criteria for selection. And the mean term fragment is the result of this uh, fragment. And now I present PHF algorithm. I give you a relation R and a set of symbol predicate PR. And 
This algorithm will give you a set of fragments of relation R. I mean, contain W's uh, horizontal fragmentation with uh, obey the fragmentation rules. And remember, PR uh, should satisfy, should be satisfy complete and minimal. Next slide, I will define the property completeness and minimality. Here's the completeness of a simple predicate. I give you a simple predicate PR is said to be complete. If and only if they are set to the tuples, to the tuple of the mean term fragment defined on PR, require that two tuple of the same mean term fragment have the same probability of being set by any application. So I give you an example. For example, you have a distillation. What I mean here is a uh, four attributes, and in this applica in this relation, you have a two application. The first application is you find the purchase of project at its location, and the second application is you find a project with purchase less than two hundred thousand dollar. I mean the second application you have a condition here, and the first application you have a no condition. And here, according to one, I say this one is a set of uh, symbol predicate, and you have here, and you have here. This one is it not is not a complete, and you can discover that in location New York there are two tuples that have difference frequency with application two. You can look at this, but when you add, I mean here is a budget. Less than and purchase greater than less than or equal and greater than it will be complete and you can it's very easy uh, to recognize whether the set of predicate is a simple or is complex or not complete. Now I go to minimality of simple predicate. If a predicate fluency how fragmentation it perform. I mean, you can divide a little bit further. Then there should be at least one application, one application that has had two fragments F R and F J differently, not the same frequency. And in other words, the symbol predicate should be relevant in determining a fragmentation. So, if all the symbol predicate of a set P R are relevant, I mean, satisfy this condition, uh, we core PR is a minimal, right, like this. And I have you uh, give you an example like this. If I have a set of symbol predicate like this, it is a minimal. And if we add something like this, it is not minimal. So uh, we have uh, two algorithms. The first one is combin. It means the input of the algorithm is a relation R and a set of set or simple predicate PR and the output of this algorithm will be PR prime. PR prime is a complete and minimal set. And here is a rule you must check uh, for developing the algorithm. I mean a relation or fragment is a partition into a, at least two parts which are set differently. Remember differently but at least one application. And uh, this one is a step by step. You can uh, run the combined algorithm. I mean, uh, from this, you have many steps to do this. I encourage you to study this algorithm at home. And another one is a P horizontal algorithm. As you know, we can use a combined algorithm to perform fragmentation and from common you have a PR prime is a set of predicate satisfy two property I mean uh, complete and minimality and from PR prime we can determine the set of um, mean terms for fragmentation horizontal fragmentation and this is an example, this two examples, but I present only one 
assemble. I mean, I will build or define the fragment of relation P. And I have an application here. This application uh, work on P relation. This only check the salary information and determine the uh, raise of the salary. And employee record cap at two side, application run at two side. And you have a simple predicate here, P1 and P2. And uh, you see, this one is not complete because you see from P1, we use a negate operator, not P1. We have a second one. So, uh, and the minimal will be uh, P apply p apply is only p1 and you we have only the mean term predicate m1 and m2 like this and at last we have uh, two horizontal i mean fragmentation and p1 i mean salary less than 30000 30000 and we have uh, another horizontal fragmentation i mean p2 in this case, the salary is uh, bigger than twenty. Uh, no, thirty thousand. Uh, we also have another examples for fragmentation of relation R, relation project here, and we application. We have a uh, two application. The first one is a the name and the purchase of project given their number, and the second application is assess project information according to the budgets and here is a symbol predicate you have here for uh, application one you have uh, this symbol predicate is location equal Montreal location equal New York location equal Paris and for application two you have a P4 budget less than or equal 200,000 and budget uh, bigger than 200 and this one is a simple predicate. And from this, you can uh, infer the fragment of the election project like this. You have a six mean term predicate and six mean term fragments from M1 to M6. And this one is a detail of the mean term predicate uh, connected, created by uh, using the conjunction operator to connect two symbol predicate and here at last we have a four we have a four horizontal fragmentation uh, we call the project one project two project four and project six and you don't see project three and project five because they are empty okay that's on for today thank you so much for joining us. Goodbye and see you in the Mac lecture. Thank you.